This is such a fantastic place for most humans to start if they want to improve their body. The short seated integration number one from PRI, also known as the stair short seated balloon. So this is an inhibition technique for paravertebrals running up your back and intercostals, which is a big deal. It also inhibits lats, inhibits hip flexors. It's a tension reliever. It's a tool for managing airflow. It's going to get that expansion in your back so that you can actually access your alternating reciprocal movement because you cannot move where you are compressed. So to begin, you are going to sit on a low stool or stair, about six inches. The idea is to have your hips below your knees. And this is already a win because it's going to be starting to bias expansion, not in the front chest, but in the back. Now we're going to get you to bring your feet together, your knees together. And I want you to rock your pelvis like a little teeter totter back and forth and start to feel your sit bones. It is your left sit bone. I really want you to feel and then rock it back. Keep it rounded, posteriorly tilted. From there, you are going to grab your left foot. Humans are asymmetric cortically and anatomically. So we're going to start unwinding a bit of that asymmetry. I want you to feel your left heel. You also could focus on feeling your right arch. And if you want to wear shoes, you can. So you have your left sit bone, left heel, right arch. And I'm going to get you to take a breath out and I want you to find your left abs in through the nose, trying to fill that back body long through the mouth, abs, 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 abs. And you are going to breathe out, breathe out complete full exhale. And then the most important part is the pause. You're going to pause at the end of the exhale for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And then when you go to breathe in, expanding that posterior mediastinum left and right under the shoulder blade, breathing in there and then continue breathing in and out that way. Now the fun part, don't be afraid of the balloon. This is such a fabulous way to bring intensity to this and to increase that resistance to expiratory muscle training, which is abs. So the only thing with this, I don't want you to strain your neck or strain your cheeks. And the idea is to still take that breath in, filling that back body in through the nose and then to breathe out into the balloon long and keep that pause at the end of the exhale. And remember, feel that left heel, feel the right arch, feel the left sit bone, feel your left abs. And most importantly, if I have my hand on your back, I am feeling this, this expansion under the shoulder blade in that posterior mediastinum, that dorsal thorax expanding. If you don't get expansion back there, you are never going to access that alternating reciprocal movement. You are never going to lift your arm properly because that is the piston that drives this motion. And you're never going to stack your rib cage over your pelvis and get that balance function that we want. So give it a try Four breaths, four sets. Don't forget the pause. Good luck. Send me questions. Hi there, I'm Michelle from Movement 101. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you would like more content like this, go down to the first link in the description below. And of course, to get this information out there, it does help to click like, hit subscribe and make a comment. And let's make sure your body is built to last. Thanks for watching.